Like, how does he make that? And then not only that, but... What's going on guys? Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today we're back with some awesome showcase stuff. I've been really enjoying doing these because there's some like really good creations that people have made. Like, when I say really good, I mean like ridiculously good. As in like, I cannot believe some of these things. And so today we're back, we're going to check it out. If you remember the last episode, we were looking at like some bikes, some motorcycle, motorcycles and stuff like that. And then the episode before that, we were looking at some really unique stuff. Uh, just, you know, if you're interested in checking these things out, go back and watch. I, I'm highlighting thing, certain things from the workshop that people have made, and they're really, really good creations. So we're going to go ahead and look at some cool ones today. So we're back with uh, one by Luep, or Lupa, however you say it. And uh, it is, I think it's an altar ball. Um, he made another Pokeball, and apparently it's, a it's like way different than the other one. And so uh, we are going to check this thing out today because I think it's way better than uh, the other one. So here's what it looks like when you let me in. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. It's just, it's it looks very, very open in here. So let's go ahead and get in here. All right, so let's check it. Let's see what it does. Um, two is the door. Okay. What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Dude, it's like a spider. Look at that. Spins? That spins? That's. How does he make this stuff? Watch. That comes out. Spins two times. That spins down. Insane. Like, how does he make that? And then not only that. But. <laughs> Dude, not only does it drive forward, but it like walks like and it it literally runs like a freaking chimpanzee or an ape or something with like a gorilla. Look at it. It's bouncing. This dude is insane. How does he think of these things? Let alone make them. Guys, this thing literally runs and like jumps. I just can't believe this thing. What the heck? Not only does it transform in an epic fashion, not only is it a Pokeball, not only is it a car, but it r runs. It literally runs. The thing runs. It doesn't just drive. It it runs. I don't I don't understand it. I really don't understand how he can make this stuff. He's got to be the best builder in scrap mechanic history. Like honestly. I just am just absolutely astonished by it. Wow. So we got some other hover we got some hover vehicles. We're gonna save for last. So let's go to this thing. Fancy Walker by Brent Batch. I can't believe that freaking Pokeball. Uh, Fancy Strand Beast Walker works with the what Theo Jansen mechanism. Don't forget to check out. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the Theo Jansen mechanism is. I don't know what that means. What the heck? This thing is like a dude. It's like a big giant. What the heck? It's got okay. It's got sol uh, so solar sensors. It's sp spinning this thing around, and it is walking. How do you people make this stuff? Honestly. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that that is set up... How do you people make this stuff? Honestly. Okay, so I'm assuming that these... Uh, what? 
What? Why didn't they work? The switches aren't connected to anything. Oh, they're connected to the sensors. The these are connected to the sensors. Why didn't they work? A and D. That's how you turn them. Oh my gosh. How the heck do you make this kind of stuff? And even find out that it could that the thing could walk like this. I mean, what like what the heck is even Okay, I broke it. I broke it cuz it's not a uh, capable of walking up hills very easily. If you hear a loud noise in the background or my dog barking, it's because my wife just left going to the store. Look at this thing. I can't believe these creations are insane. Like look at the different all the different bearings that are connected that allows this thing to walk. Let's take a look at this thing. So we've got center center bearings that are connected to the arms that have their own individual arms coming off of them that are connected to different pivot points. Like what the heck? Is this some kind of like engineer student build or something? Some of the people who make stuff in this game, like I, I honestly I'm like, are you, you guys engineers by trade? Like how the heck do you even come up with these ideas? Dang it! You guys are making sweet builds like this and I can't even put the freaking lift down. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's look. We've got some other cool builds here. Uh, we've got a fast hover bike by one. One. Okay, they're both, I was going to say, are they all by one? And I didn't even notice that? Okay, so let's check out the hover jeep, which is by one. Press two. I see a lot of creations by one. I think he's pretty good too. Two to start thrusters, three to take take off. Wait until stabilized. Don't go too fast on bumps and accelerate before touch the ground. Okay. All right. Two. Waiting till stabilization. He said, don't go too fast over bumps. Screw, <laughs> screw that, man. Wow, this thing's fast. Whoa. Oh, there it is right there. We're good, though. Look at this thing. It's capable. Quite capable. Dude. You know how long it took me to make like a really good hover vehicle? A long time and I even had to base my design off of somebody else's. The thing turns around ridiculously fast. Dude, this is so good. I mean like a lot of the concepts and ideas are... I might be talking too loud because the sound is like horribly loud. Um, a lot of the concepts and ideas that are being used in builds are all like very similar to like like kind of the, like the popular vehicles because like there's only like so many mechanics in game that you can really use and do things with however however if you guys remember this thing I've never seen anything like that before and how it moves but it's just using sensors so I don't know all right, so this is a hovercraft by Ickish. This is a hovercraft uh, version 1.2B made by me, Ickish. Suspension o only used for turning mechanism. Designed for 40 FPS plus. Press 1 for hover mode. Simple enough. Let's see this thing. It looks sweet. Look at this thing. What the heck? We got... Sensors. Okay, so I'm 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 assuming they're gonna yeah they're gonna turn. Dude. Whoa. <laughs> it did like a, I just did like a loop there. Um, I might honestly keep this thing and never get rid of it. This might be one of my favorite. Oops. I didn't hit one. 
This might be one of my favorite hover vehicles that I've that I've seen in game. This thing is sweet, man. Look at it. Look at how compact it gets. That's awesome. Like if it was just a hover vehicle and it didn't get compact like that, it would I don't think I'd be as impressed. But not only is it a hover vehicle, but the thing is ridiculously fast. About the only thing it doesn't do is go backwards. This thing is so freaking fast. I love that, man. And I think it makes it even more cool, the fact that it's got the skull and crossbones on the, on the top. It's almost like you can kind of turn, tone this thing down a bit. Wow! The thing is so fast. Oh yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it. This thing is incredible. Wow! <laughs> Yo, this thing's amazing. I really, really, really like this thing. You can actually kind of control it when it's flipped, when it's in the air like that. You can actually kind of control it. Um, to where it, to where you can kind of control the direction by, uh, like using A and D. Yeah, look at that. You can kind of do it. It's nice. It just, you have to kind of tweak it a little bit and like work with it as it rocks. And then you just kind of let it go. <laughs> that thing's, this thing's cool, man. I like the fact that you can control it with that front thruster. Oh, recover. Yo, this thing's all outrageously cool. This is one of my favorite vehicles. And I think like, honestly guys, I think like a lot of it has to do with the color scheme of this thing. So we could take it pretty slow if we wanted to. I can't believe how fast we were going, and it was so smooth. Like, it, it, it's better the faster it goes. The slower it goes, it seems a little erratic. You can just give it a little taps. See, it just gets going so fast. I love this thing. This might be one of my favorite vehicles. Just because of how cool it looks. And I think my favorite part is the fact that it goes from that to that. That's so cool. I love this build. What a fun build. What a fun build. That is awesome. Sweet. Okay, last but not least, we have the fast hover bike by Juan. Um, well, let's see how fast it actually is, Juan. And does it live up to the hype of that last thing? Oh, okay. Another thing that doesn't go backwards, but doesn't need to go backwards. Yo, this thing is cool. Oh, 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 oh. Does it need to be in that mode? Does that need to be engaged? It seems like it's kind of messing it up a little bit. I think what it is, it, is it, it extends it for the sensors. So it's closer to the ground right here, and when we raise it, it extends the sensor range. So I almost want to keep it, like, low to the ground. Yo, this thing's cool. These hover vehicles, man, are sweet. And I like how easy this one is to kind of self-right. It's not, it's not as bad. It's not that bad. It gets a little unstable when you get that... Thing extended like that. Holy smokes. This thing is pretty fast. It's just going up over bump, every bump so easily. This dude, these builds are awesome. Wow. The only thing is, is that this one's not as easy to control. Does it? I think it self writes itself. Let's see. 
It does. The only thing is, is that this one's not as easy to control as the other one, I don't think. But, the one thing I do like about it is the fact that you could use this to get from point A to point B, I think, a little bit better than that last one. And then you have the ability to self right yourself. I mean, look at how fast this thing is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, dude, I think I prefer this one over the last one, actually. For, uh traveling from point point to point let's just see what happens here yeah see like that that's so nice the fact that it does that oh my gosh this thing is great yeah see I think that one guy is a really good builder too there's a lot of really good builders in the scrap mechanic universe oh speeder bike Dude, it's like speeder bike through the woods. It's awesome. Self-riding, and that's so cool. It's so fast. That's about the only thing I, I wish it didn't do. Flip over. <laughs> okay. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Come on! Oh, we got it! Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, once you hit a jump, you have to let go unless the thrusters are, are uh, like, triggered a certain way. Oh, a little rack. It screwed us up. Unless... The extended mode is... F specifically... <laughs> that's awesome! Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed a look at these sweet builds. Uh, man, there's some great stuff out there. Go check this stuff out in the workshop. Check out their YouTube channels if they got them. Uh, to, to the builders, you guys are amazing. And uh, you guys do some amazing, amazing work. So good, so good. Good job. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.